everybody? Now, it's Front Row Steve here, but this really isn't about a movie today. It's about one of my favorite shows on television. And then, yes, it has ran for 22 seasons, but I don't care. It still makes, it's still to this day, one of my favorite shows. And as you can see, just by my screensaver, you could tell what show we're talking about here. Russell Hands. Some of you may know him, some of you may not. But anyway, let's get down to the point. What's going on, guys? It's Steve Pulaski. I'm here with Front Row Steve. And it wasn't too long ago I did an episode on, like this about Survivor Nicaragua. And if you didn't guess who what Russell Hands is from, well, it's from he's from Survivor um, Samoa and Survivor Heroes and Villains. So, basically, we're talking about Survivor Redemption Island. It's a 22nd installment, and it's rumored to be the last Survivor hosted by Jeff Probst, which is going to be really sad. I love Jeff Probst, but got to move on, I guess. Anyway, though, what I'm going to give you guys today are my my preseason prediction predictions. Survivor Redemption Island starts up on February 16th. It's going to be located in San del, del Osar, Nicaragua, just like the last, just like the previous season. And for, I assumed it was going to be another All Stars kind of season, but much to my surprise, they welcomed in a lot of new people. I thought they would give people a second chance because Redemption Island, the thing that makes it different from all the other Survivor seasons is that once you're voted out, you're not actually out. Once you're out, another person comes to Redemption Island, you guys duel, and whoever wins the duel gets to go back in the game. Now, I don't really know how that's going to work, but we'll see when it starts airing. And these aren't really the best received front row Steves. I mean, these are like the ones that get the least amount of reception or feedback because nobody really likes Survivor. But some people I do know still watch this these episodes, even though they know nothing about Survivor, just to hear me, so I'm flattered. But um, basically, though, Survivor Redemption Island, um, pretty excited for it. I thought it was going to be like a thing where you give old contestants second chances i thought it was going to be like the people who got voted out really early and were really determined to make it far or the ones that got voted out for medical reasons such as james clement now he wasn't yeah i think he was medical eva medically evacuated at one point in time but basically other people though like mike barassi who had to go be and Russ, russell swan from samoa people who had to go that were medical that were for medical purposes they had no choice whether they wanted to leave or stay um Basically, though, here's who I think is going to be the final five. Number one, Boston Rob. Boston Rob and Russell Hands will be coming ba back to Survivor. Boston Rob was on Survivor Mark Wadez, Survivor All-Star, Survivor Heroes vs. Villains, and now he's coming back for a fourth time, the first contestant to do so on Survivor Redemption Island. And um, for those who don't know, Boston Rob's real name is Rob Robert Mariano, and he married Am Amber Burst, who won, won one of the seasons before. I don't remember. It might have been All-Stars. I just don't remember. He proposed to her on the live show. Boston Rob is not as a big a villain as Russell Hands, but they're both returning this season. Very pumped about that. Two of my favorite survivors going at it again. Um, Rob... Let me just say, Rob has a lot better reception than Russell. Rob sort of, like Jeff said in the Meet the Players thing, kind of like morphed and twisted and turned and pulled some strings to become a hero. He was put under the villains, but he somehow became a hero. He's become more affectionate now that he's older, and he's just become more of a likable guy. So he'll definitely make it to the end, hopefully. I at least want to see him go very far. Philip Shepard is going to be another one. Now, these people aren't necessarily ones I really like, but they're ones that I would say, because there was a lot of people in the final five last season um, for Survivor Nicaragua, Dan, Holly, Chase, Fobbs, and Sash. I didn't like Sash or Chase, but, I mean, I'm a realist. I mean, Philip Shepard, though, he... Now, I don't really like him. I kind of don't like his kind of people. He's one of those people who's got the real big smile. He's a really cheery guy. I mean, there's not much to hate about him, but I'm just not amused by that. I don't think people are, are going to fall for it a lot of the time, but he, who knows? If he pulls the right amount of strings, he could make it to the end. Then we got Matthew Elrod, who is a very much like Judd Burza from Survivor Nicaragua, who, nicknamed Fabio, um, who won last season. Youngest Survivor winner, I think he's, I think he was 21. But um, Matthew Elrod, though, he is kind of like that kind of guy. He's like a surfer, very affectionate dude. He's one of those kind of guys that if he plays quiet and if he plays kind of like the guy, like George of the Jungle, like comes to your rescue kind of guy, he could definitely make it. 
Andrea Bolowick, what Survivor show would be complete without having some farm girl come on the show? Survivor Samoa was um had winner was Natalie White. She beat Russell Hands and Mick Trimming seven two to nothing. And the thing is, people are gonna be like, "Are do you research these names or do you have to memorize them?" I know these t names. I know pretty much everybody in the previous seasons. I memorize their full names. But um, yeah, Natalie White beat them. Uh, Sir, uh, Russell and Mick on Survivor Samoa. I didn't like her. I thought she was completely undeserving of the million dollars. You don't win Survivor by riding someone's coattails. You just don't. You have to make key moves. You don't just go along on someone's back. It's clever. Don't get me wrong. It was nice that she did that. She was clever, but she did not outplay or outwit anybody. She let Russell do the outwitting and outplaying just so she could make it to the end. Completely undeserving. I don't like the farm girls too much. I mean, some of them are really nice looking, but the thing is, like with Andrea Bolwick, who I think is going to make it to the final five, I don't like those kind of people. They say, oh, I'm just a small country girl, you know me, I'm I really doing this because I grew up on a farm all my life, and you know, my life story is this, and I'm going to tell you that. No, no, I don't like that. I really don't. But who knows, she could impress me. Mike, Ch Mike Chiesel's another guy who I really am digging. I, I do like him a lot. Uh, Mike Chiesel, he was a um, Iraqi war vet. You know, God bless the troops, man, fighting for our country. He, yeah, he was an Iraqi war vet, and he seems like the kind of guy that can pick a bone when he needs to. He been he's been through a lot, so the challenge of being out in the um in the desert isn't going to be too much for him. I don't think. Hopefully, that was the final five. Now the ones who will go early. I'm gonna start go through these kind of quickly. David Murphy. David Murphy is a brainiac kind of guy, and he's overly cocky. I hate those people. I can't stand people who say, I'm going to have to, you know, it's like he said in the meet the players thing, you know, this is very scary to say, but I'm going to have to dumb down. Like, he's so advanced. Like, he is so smart, and he is so above average about these people. I mean, co cocky people do make for an interesting show, but I don't like those kind of people. I just don't. And you don't see too many of them. Russell Hands. Russell Hans is my number one favorite survivor. He was on Survivor Samoa and Heroes vs. Villains. He's a real, you know, real cool guy. I real like him. And a lot of people are going to be like, wow, are you a hypocrite, man? You don't like people who try and run the game. But Russell did that. Russell knew what he was doing. It's a difference if you can go into a game and know what you are doing from the start. Russell had it planned out. He knew what consequences he were gonna were gonna hold up? He knew what kind of people he were gonna blind. He was gonna blindside. He knew what he was doing from the very beginning of the show. Unlike these people that go in thinking they're gonna control everybody and then wind up getting screwed. Russell made it both to the ends and made it to the end on both show. But he's not gonna last very long. People know who Russell is. Unlike on Heroes vs. Villains, where they had minimal knowledge of Russell, because when Samoa was airing, they were in here, they were shooting heroes and villains. That's the problem now. Everybody on this show knows who Russell is, and the chances of him lasting long aren't very high. Uh, Steph Stephanie Valenka Ver Valencia, my bad. Um, she's another one, don't like her, don't really dig her, I think she's gonna go pretty early if she keeps up with that attitude. I'll probably link the Meet the Players list so you can see who I'm talking about. Francesca Hoagie is another person I'm not too fond of right now. She thinks that she can run the show, she's like Nayanka from the previous season. She thinks she can run the show, she thinks she can do everything when she can't. I mean, who knows, these people could impress me. I'm not, like I say though, when I'm reading these people. I don't know. I haven't seen this show. These are just preseason assumptions. And when the show ends, I'm going to do another episode of Front Row Steve saying what I thought about the show and like re going and I'll even review this old list. Now we got Christina Klump, just another one I don't think will last long. I mean, just because of just something about her doesn't sit right with me. She's not going to stay very long. I'm trying to go by these quick because I spent so much time. The one people, the few, the top five I like. One's the ones I like. Grant Matos, Russell Hands, Boston Rob, Mike Chiesel, and Ralph Kaiser. I like Grant Matos. He's an ex-football player. He seems like a decent guy. He seems like he can get stuff done, but football players usually tend not to last that long. But um, I do like Russell Hands. He's my number one favorite survivor. I love the guy. I don't disrespect Russell. I mean, he's amazing. Ru Boston Rob, another person. Don't I don't need to go into it. He's great. Mike Chiesel, I already said, the Iraqi war vet. And Ralph Kaiser, the guy who's kind of like a barbarian type. On the show, he seems like a goofy guy. He seems like he could get along with some people. I mean, he isn't the best survivor, and I doubt he'll win, but 
I mean, who knows? He probably is not going to have the heart to get, like really knock off any people. The ones I don't like. I don't like Julie Wolf. Now, Julie Wolf is the one who says that she's newly divorced and she's she's got alimony and child support. She's got full custody of kids. Her house isn't for closing. Her. Uh, ain't buying that. I am not buying that. There's always somebody on the reality shows who's living such a hard life, who's living, you know, such a terrible, tragic life. It's really hard to keep up. Well, I got a question for you. Who's going to pay your house when you're in Survivor? You know, that's my question. They have, like, it's like another reality show I can't stand on the same network, CBS, Undercover Boss. That show is completely fake. Survivor is rigged to an extent. It's not completely fake, but it's not completely real. Julie Wolf, though, I mean, I just don't like her. I don't believe her. And, like, they always find that one person who's really in need of assistance. And that shit doesn't fly with me. I don't like David Murphy. Like I said, he's way too cocky. He thinks he's trying to say he's smarter than everybody. You know, typical. Francesca, I don't really like. And Philip is another person. Philip's, like, in the middle, though. You know, I kind of like him at the same time I don't. He, I like him. I don't want to say I hate him. But he's not my favorite. But who knows? Like I say, these guys could continue to impress me. But um, Survivor Redemption Island preseason picks. There you have it. So thanks a lot for watching. Sub if you haven't. Thanks again for getting Movie Central and A. I really appreciate it. And yeah, so we're looking. I'm looking forward to Survivor Redemption Island. I'm really looking forward to this season. Um, I also can't wait to see Russell and Rob back dueling again. Like they hinted on Survivor Heroes and Villains. They said like, um. Russell said, I'm glad to take you on any day. And then they, you know, they're just going at it. I really am excited. So thanks for, like, again, like, like I said again, thanks for watching. Stuff if you haven't, this has been Survivor Redemption Island preseason picks pre of my favorites, my least favorites, and the final five. So don't forget to check back again in May. And I will give you when the show's over and done, probably the day after the reunion. Um,. I'll give you some, I'll give you some, four, I'll give you the 401 on that. So thanks again for watching.